ancient Pergamum is located around the modern city of Bergama, Turkey, and archaeologists tell us that the area was settled as early as the 8th century BC. The highest section of Pergamum is called the Acropolis, and that's where we're heading. Buses are not allowed to use the road going to the top, so we're going up on the cable car. The middle town is located below us, and you also see the ancient road. Here's an artist's rendition of the citadel at the top, and we can also see some of the old fortification wall. Along the east wall were the palatial residences of six kings built over a 150-year span. The Temple of Trajan is the only truly Roman building on the Acropolis. The paved platform is 189 feet by 217 feet. The most spectacular building is the theater, originally built during the 3rd century BC. It would have provided its patrons a fantastic view of the city and the plain below as they were watching the theater performances. Here we are approaching the entrance to the theater from above. The theater has 80 rows of seats. The total seating capacity is about 10,000 people. This shot gives you an idea of just how steep it is. And then we head back down. Founded in middle 4th century BC, the Asclepion at Pergamum was dedicated to the Greco-Roman god of healing. This was one of six healing sanctuaries in the ancient world, similar to a modern health spa. The entrance was along the ancient Sacred Way, a colonnaded street paved with large blocks of andesite stone. The sanctuary had a theater, a library, sacred spring for drinking, pools for mud bath treatments, and sleeping rooms. Some have speculated that Luke could have had some of his medical training here, and he could have joined Paul and Timothy and Silas when they were here. The Church of Pergamum is praised and criticized by John in Revelation. It's commended for its Christian faithfulness even in the face of persecution and martyrdom. But the church was criticized because it tolerated a group which ate food sacrificed to idols and which practiced fornication. Oh, I hear it. The sound of the running water was meant to be soothing and other treatments were baths and cold water, bloodlettings, fastings, exercising, various medications, and smearing with mud. The stairs led to the second floor, 
where the physicians' offices were. This was one of the soaking tubs. Here's the Roman theater, which seated 3,500 people. 